And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create this letter arrow logo in Adobe Illustrator. First we'll make sure on the view that the smart guides and snap to point only is activated. We'll use a black fill no stroke for now. And we'll use the ellipse to swap the colors so now we've got a stroke no fill. Hold shift create a circle. We'll increase the stroke weight maybe to 50. Now let me try 60, that's better. Now we need a direct selection tool, press A for that. Select only one anchor point and delete it with the delete key. Now we use the line segment tool, go to the anchor point, hold shift, drag it to the left hand side, select it with the selection tool, hold all, drag a copy out of it, hold shift when you drag it downwards. That's what we need. Now we need the stroke menu, so go to window and open it. There it is. And we want to add an arrowhead. Maybe number seven. Let me go down with the scale. And I extend it. So I change the position in relationship to the line. We only need one, so I need to deselect the top one. So I get rid here of this arrowhead. I only want to have one at the bottom. But I make that bigger, 10% is not enough. As you can see I've got it unlinked to the right side of this percentage for the scale. If you've got it linked, just deselect it. And you can see what happens if I click on the align. I want it as an extension of the line. 25% should be fine. I'll select it all. Use the selection to hold Alt and drag a copy out of it. Then I hold Shift and rotate it. I select it all, object, expand the appearance, and let me expand it again. And now we've got shapes. We can use the shape builder tool and connect these shapes. So oh, there are some smaller ones. Let me connect them as well. We've only got two shapes now. And we want to create an S letter as a negative shape. And it's easy to do, just drag one right here. Now we need to determine the size. I like to use the rectangle tool for that. I'll make it red. And we want to have somewhat of the same distance, top to bottom here and left to right. Let me check that. I use a copy, obviously. Once again, it's the same method. Use the select tool at Alt and you can drag copies out of objects. I need to adjust that a little bit. Just play around with it. Use the arrow keys left and right, up and down to change the distance. And we only need to have somewhat of the same distance here to recreate this logo design effect. All right, that looks good. Let me give it a different color. So I select it all, go to fill, and I use this dark red. And that's fine. This is how you can recreate this arrow led logo in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.